World of Tanks, Where to Aim, Where to Shoot. Uh, this is a document I made that shows where to aim at enemy tanks. It's going to be a little bit of a long video, so we're going to get right into it. You're going to aim for weak spots, the lower plate, the side armor, the rear armor, small plates and hatches, the commander's cupola, engine compartments so you can set the engine on fire, ammo rack so you can detonate the ammo rack, aim at the side under the turret to increase the chance of hitting something, which is depicted here. So the basics is this one right here. You want to aim at what you might call the center of mass. It's not really the center of mass, but the center of the area, which is right under the turret right here. It also happens to be where the ammo racks are, because if what I do is I wait for the aim circle to be this size and then I fire and I'm going to hit something. Some people aim in all the way. I watch streamers online. They aim very small. I don't. I, once it's as big, I fire. Because chances are it's going to hit something. If you do it on the rear, you might go over the engine deck. So that's why I play that way. So number one over here, which is on either side, if you hit that, you can damage the ammo rack because there's ammo stored beside here. Uh, which maybe we'll show more clearly in another image. Number two is a turret. You see there's a turret in the front that has like a hatch on top and a gun here. Usually they're weaker armor. Number four is a flat plate. You want to hit flat plates because you want to be perpendicular. When there's an angle, you're more likely to ricochet or fail to penetrate. But if you hit this flat plate, you have a good chance of penetrating. Number three is a lower plate, and obviously there is a secondary lower plate, which is even weaker, if you can hit it. Then number five is a turret. That's your last choice. Over here, we got the side of the same tank. So I highlighted number one, and the reason why is because it's the gun. If you can damage the gun, the enemy can't fire. And if he can't repair it, he might not be able to fire for 10 or 20 seconds, and his gun handling will be poor, the aim time will be bad, and the dispersion will be bad. So hitting the gun is a good strategy, especially if you could do it twice in a row, because most people only have one repair kit. Number two is a hatch on the side of the turret. If you're going to aim for the side of the turret, aim for the hatch because it's probably weaker because it's a small plate. They use weaker armor on the small plates. Number three is the side of a turret. You want to hit it perpendicular. Number four, uh, the reason why I pointed this out is because there are uh, the driver and the radio operator are probably behind number four. And there's a large mass over here, so you're likely to hit something. Number five is where the ammo rack is going to be. And also, if you aim for number five, uh, you don't have to aim all the way in. And number six is where the engine is, so you can fire at number six if you want to try to damage the engine. Or you could hit one of the rear turrets. Now, keep in mind, the rear turret is probably weaker than the front turret. Not always true, but there's a lot of tanks that have these turrets. So it's a general rule. Over here, it's not shown well, but number one is where the ammo rack is. It's the back of the turret. So the turret is very small. I'm pointing at it with the mouse, the round part of the turret. And this is the part that protrudes out in the back. I always aim for the number one because I try to ammo rack the enemy as much as possible. And, you know, I want to detonate it. Number two is the engine. Ideally, you want to hit underneath the spaced armor, between the spaced armor. Number three is a front wheel. And some of them, like you look at the one in the rear, you can see that there's gears or sprockets on this wheel, which means that the transmission is over there. In the case of the one in the front, it doesn't have the transmission, it's just an axle. So if you hit the one in the rear, you're hitting the transmission also. 
And then number four is the ammo rack. It's the center of the vehicle, so you don't have to worry about accidentally firing over the engine deck. You're more, you, if you miss, you might hit the turret, you might hit low. So I often, if I'm far away, I will aim where the four is, directly under the turret. Uh, this is where I would aim if I'm far away, or if I want to fire quickly. Sometimes I don't use the sniper mode, I just point and shoot. But you aim right here, you wait till the circle's about this big, and then you fire. Number two is where the engine is. You see that it's got the gear, which means that the transmission is right there. You can fire there and hit the engine in that empty space. If you fire at the one on the left for the front wheel in the empty space, that's where the driver and radio operator are going to be. And if you hit where the pirate emblem is, that's where the ammunition is. Over here we have the commander's cupola, the gun sight where the gunner sits, and the hatch or the viewport for the driver. So in this case, a lot of people aim for the commander's cupola. In the old days, you could fire HE rounds at the gun sight and damage the gunner, or at the driver hatch and damage the driver, or at the commander hatch and and damage the commander. I don't know if you can still do it. Uh, but for AP rounds, this is going to be, it's usually a weaker plate, not always so. And sometimes they buff the armor. This is the rear of a vehicle. It looks like a machine gun port, but the reason why I'm highlighting this, you got the cupola at the top. This is going to have ammunition here, but it's also, if you aim at the right, you're going to hit the commander. And if you aim at the left, you're going to hit the loader and maybe the gunner. So if you want to hit a chance to hit the commander, which could, you know, cause him to not have view range, could cause lots of problems. You want to aim on the right side of the rear turret where the cupola is. Over here, we see some what looks like some hatches on the back. Uh, on the back of tanks, you're going to have hatches to put the fuel in lit up with gasoline. You might have a hatch to put ammunition in, obviously not here where the engine is. These look like boxes on the outside of the armor, so they're probably not weak spots. Over here, it clearly shows the rear of the turret where the ammo is stored, and you see a hatch which looks like you could put ammo through that hatch, but that's a spot that I would fire at. Uh, to try and uh, hit the ammo, and of course, underneath, in between the spaced armor, would be another spot. And you can damage the gun by hitting the mantle, and then he won't be able to fire. Now, this vehicle is at an angle. You want to hit the plate that's closest to you, which is over here where it says yes, or over here where it says yes. You don't want to hit the back over here or the back over here, and you want to hit more near the center where your barrel height is, because if you hit lower, you're firing at an angle. If you hit up here, it's perpendicular. You want to hit perpendicular, not at an angle. And same over here. You want to hit more near the middle of the tank or wherever the gun barrel is, because if you hit high up or low, you're hitting at an angle. If you hit over here, it's more perpendicular. So avoid hitting the rear. I have a video where I was on front line, and you could see it green, and then it becomes yellow as I go towards back, and then green again, and yellow again, because that's what happens. The, the angle does matter. Uh, in this case, I'm showing you don't want to hit the plates that are far away, like near the front, the front of the turret, or the right side. You want to hit where it's near you, not on the edge. But in this case, you're going to aim for the rear of the turret, if you can see what I'm highlighting with the mouse pointer, or on the rear above the track on the left side, both on the left side for the track and the rear turret, and on the right side for the side turret or the side spaced armor of the hull. Because like I said, you're going to get the best angle. And look at the height of the gun. 
you're going to get the best angle aiming where I'm pointing with the mouse, which is the height of the gun straight across, not aiming high, not aiming low. I'm just going to check to see if you can see the gun pointer. No, I guess maybe, I'm sorry, maybe you can't. Maybe, maybe you can, maybe you can't. The mouse pointer is what I meant. Okay, so this is the Badger. If you want to track one of these vehicles, you want to hit, you see how there's like three treads going across, and then you got many treads over here? You don't want to hit where there's lots of treads squeezed together. You want to hit where you see three treads facing you flat. That's where you got the axle going across. I'm pointing at the axle right now, and it goes across through the hull all the way to the other side. You track it, and then he can't aim his gun easily, and you get behind him and you shoot him in the rear. Now, in this case, if you have very few hit points, he's got a lot of hit points, you can't win. You can't take him out by hitting his lower plate. You could do some damage, but you can't take him out. What you do is you hit the gun. And you might not get any hit points and damage, but you're going to prevent him from firing. He won't be able to fire because he's got a damaged gun. He'll either have to repair it or wait, could be 30 seconds or more, to do the repair. And it will only repair halfway. So that's a strategy you can use. People always will tell you, don't ever shoot at the barrel. It's not true. You shoot at the barrel when you want to disable the gun. It doesn't always work. But you can do it, and you can try it. I do it sometimes. If I'm in a desperate situation, boom, I'll just fire for the gun. And you see over here, there's a little hole. That's probably where the gun sight is, where the gunner sits. So if you think this is too well protected, then fire at that hole and injure the gunner, and you have a similar effect. Some American tanks have a round hull in the front. And they have weak spots on the left and right. So it's stronger in the center and weaker on the sides. So that's something that you're going to want to know uh, when you play up against American uh, heavy tank destroyers and heavy tanks. In this case, you can damage the ammo rack by hitting the left or the right side. Look at the turret. It doesn't go all the way to the side, and that's because they store ammo on the side. And it's not just this tank. There's lots of tanks that do that. The ammo, I'm pointing to it with the mouse, where it says Skoda T27 is the part of the side. There's a, a ladder climbing up the side on the third rung of the ladder at the top. That's where ammo is stored, and you can damage the ammo rack from the front. Now, you're also going to notice that there's a little bit of a space over here behind the front wheel. This, you notice that there, the front wheel has a gear and sprockets. It's a sprocketed wheel, which means that the engine transmission is over here. The rear wheel doesn't have it. That's what's pulling the tread. There's a little bit of extra space for the mechanic to work on the wheel or to remove the wheel, but it allows you to shoot through the spaced armor on the side. There's a little opening. And even if that opening were not there, you could still aim for that wheel and hit the weaker armor behind this spaced armor. And underneath the spaced armor, if you look at the front of the hull, you can see it goes down. See where it says assault heavy tank? If you hit above that, you can hit the hull underneath the spaced armor. So here's an example where you've got this E100 and there's spaced armor on the upper hull, but on the lower hull there isn't. And you'll notice that you've got the wheels that they have, uh, the axle for the wheel is attached to the hull. So you can tell where the hull goes down to. Just make sure you hit the axle of the wheels or higher, but below the spaced armor. In this case, the Type 5 Heavy, you got these little rollers 
that are attached to the hull. And it's smaller area, but you can see in the rear that the hull goes down that low, and it's going to be weaker if you fire through this uh, space. And you can see the opening on the front wheel also. Uh, this is FV401A45. You can see it also has the hull on the bottom, and there happens to be more space on the rear, so I would aim for this rear space over here, and you might damage the engine. Over here we have uh, the AT2. You got the Coppola. You got the part on the side which could have ammunition stored behind it. And you've got a hatch in the front. Not sure what it's used for. Maybe it's uh, for the driver. And uh, there are going to be weak spots in general. They could be buffed. The reason why is because they're smaller. The smaller plates are usually weaker armor uh, because they assume that you're not going to hit it when they design the tank. You can't really hit the lower plate over here. The hatches are usually weaker armor. There's exceptions. Like the Type 5 Heavy, the hatch might be the same armor as the plate next to it, but you still aim for the hatch. The Coppola, usually, in almost every tank, is weaker armor, and you want to hit it dead center as much as you can. Okay, so that is my guide on where to aim. If you have any suggestions, please add them here at the bottom. Um, you can go to cheapbooks.cc and look for World of Tanks. And I have all sorts of tutorials and guides on World of Tanks uh, that you can read, or you can ask questions. I'll answer any questions that you have. And I also own cheapbooks.com, which is a website for books and textbooks. If you have any questions or comments, Please post below.